Captain Marvin Wilson. Wilson. W i l s o n. I say it funny. Captain Marvin. Marvin. I'm the only white one you'll ever meet with that name. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Lee, Lee, you're gonna have fun. Let's <laughs> 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 go. real fast. <laughs> and we're back between two headers. It is day three of the Four Lord of the Boat Show, and it is starting to rain, right. isn't it? Yeah. We'll power it's on through, on my parade. Because it is warm. Yes. Captain Marvin Wilson. Marvin, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. So we've been put together like on a blind date type of thing. Exactly. We met on the dock. Five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and so you've been in the industry a long time though. It About sounds 20 like. years, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That shows you how old I am. I'm allowed to ask because you're a guy. 43. 43, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Almost dead, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you sounds like you've done a lot then. I've been very blessed. Worked yeah. hard. Yep. And so, uh, I, I, just, I met a captain the other day who was going. He wants to do an interview. He said, "I'm going to teach you. I'm going to on the Yetis uh -huh. how to do a earn as much as you can." doing as little work as you possibly can. Sounds like a son of a bitch, doesn't it? His owners are 80 <laughs> years old and he says he does nothing. <laughs> so, doesn't sound like your owners have been that way. I uh, no, work hard, play hard, and you know, just uh, always do your best. Always so, do your best. How best are you? Captain in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing your humanitarian part I now, am. right? So I've been running uh, private yachts, like I said, for almost 20 years now. Uh, recently I joined uh, the boat Pacific Hope full-time. For about two years I'd been volunteering, coming in, helping them move the ship, things of that sort. I'd actually been a financial contributor to the boat. Uh, Pacific Hope is now, is this like it's a, ex... it's a It's an old fishing vessel that went cruise ship, now it's a hospital ship. So what we do is we provide free medical care to uh, like uh, places of disaster, third world countries. So right now we're in Dominica which is in the Southern Caribbean. Right. 60% of that island is still living under blue tarps uh, from the hurricanes last year. And the past- 60% of it? 60%. Yep. It is an island that is not connected with the US, the yeah. French, the Dutch. It's just uh, by themselves. They're by themselves, completely independent, and they are still struggling. Most of the island still does not have power. People don't even realize it. A year on? A year on. They had. See, we hear about Puerto Rico and all how that's America. And yeah, and in Puerto Rico, it was destroyed also. But Dominica had a population of 71,000 people. Now they're 51,000. We have treated 5% of the island in medical. This past month, we did 60 surgeries on eyes. 11 blind people can see today. And you did the surgeries on the boat. On the ship. So it's, it's sanitary, no, it's absolutely. state of the art. We're, we have more state of the art equipment on our ship than the island could ever have. And you're captain of this? I am, correct. Sorry, I, I completely skipped over. The 11 people can now see today. 11 people that were blind can now see. In, it's and great. this is blind because of the hurricane? Or no, just, no, just this is just the lack of medical care. Cataracts and things of that sort. So but what you gotta understand is when you have 11 people that are blind, okay, great, they can see. But now they can have a job again. Now they don't need caretakers. This is the whole give a man a yep. uh, give a, uh, give a man a fish, fish feed him for the day. Yeah. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Yeah. There's a lot. I would like to say there's a lot of people doing getting more into the philanthropy. What are they? Philanthropy. Yeah. <laughs> philanthropy of in the center. Yag Yachte Global is doing it, yep. and I see a few other people. Correct. But actually, it's not that many, is it? No, it's not. Where we are probably the well, we're the second largest private medical ship in the entire world. In the world? In the world. How big's the boat? Uh, we're only, ju we're just under 200 feet, uh, but we've got a 15 foot draft. We're, you know, we're a commercial vessel. So we, the, one of the great things about us too, is we hold 20,000 US gallons of fresh water. We make 400 gallons an hour. We can, we can distribute water 3,000 feet from the boat. We've got four wheelers, we've got quads, we've got everything that you need to actually, when a hurricane happens or anything, we're the first ones in. Before this airplanes can get, cool. <laughs> and we can take water into the villages and everything, so we can sustain life. And you're captain of this? I am. Where's the boat at the moment? We're oh, in Dominica. Dominica. Yep. So what are you doing here? Just came here for the show, for the two days. I uh, went to a few of the parties, interviews with you, different things of that sort. Spread the Promoting, message. promoting so the show. You, 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 
it's being funded, but how? You said you put your own money in. So uh, individuals fund our boat. We've got some pretty heavy hitters uh, that give us several hundred thousand dollars a year, but most of our contributions come from $50 a month from just people like me and you. Are you doing the canvassing, canvassing on the streets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, go out, hold a sign. Hey, we need 50 bucks. Yeah, you know. <laughs> sign up for the rest yeah, of your life. Yeah, give me $50. $50. <laughs> yeah, two ninety nine <laughs> per day. <laughs> so. so how much you raised? Right now, this past year, we've raised about 600000 Okay, so. that, that, that's a lot, but it's nowhere near enough. No, it? it isn't. It, it is a lot, but you remember one cataract surgery here in the States is $3,000. So when you do the surgery, not, our doctors are all volunteers. Uh, doctors come in and out about every two weeks and they volunteer, same with nurses. We have a staff of around 60 oh boy, people. Fly they fly in and out um, on, their own money. on their own money. They come in, they financially do everything themselves. The entire ship is volunteer based. I take no salary. What? Yeah. So we're 100 percent volunteer based. You're we full do, time volunteer. I'm full time volunteer. You yeah. had a good career. Previously I did. Then? I was very blessed in the yachting industry. Correct. So, um, but yeah, they come in. They're volunteers. There aren't many people in the world who do. This. Yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, it's amazing. No, it's, it's it is amazing. Oh, it's, uh, I'm shedding a tear. <laughs> 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 so, but yeah, the expenses are insane. Um, you know, when we do a cataract surgery, you actually have to put a lens back in. Um, when we are doing dental, you know, the fillings, the Novocaine, all this is outrageously expensive. So 600000 is a drop in the bucket. But then you've got to pay for the boat as well. i got to pay for the boat. We do hire professional engineers and crew and everything else. Out of our entire crew, they're paid, except for myself. All the professional crew is paid, but then everyone else is volunteer. On 600 grand? Right. So, how do they, how do people pay you? Uh, you can donate at uh, MV Pacific Hope, uh, or go on Facebook. It's MV the... Pacific Hope. MV stands for Motor Vessel Pacific Hope. So, much of the boats around here are M Y, uh, which is motor yacht. But if you go to it's the pretty one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. MV Pacific Hope dot org. Awesome. Okay. That's the end of this bit. Your life previous to this. My that life sounds... previous to this. Uh, I've been in the yachting industry, like I said. Uh, I've worked everywhere from, I lived in Dubai. I built several ships in Turkey. When were you in Dubai? I was in Dubai probably 10 years ago now. Yeah. 2008, same yeah. time I was. Oh, were you really? Yeah. Okay, what were you doing there? There's two things we can't talk about on the show. Okay. One's lighting. Yep. And one's politics. Okay. Lighting, because that was my thing. Yep. Temporarily, I'll allow that. Um, I was doing lighting on the Palm. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. World Project. Yeah. And with Palm Jamaica. Yeah. And Emar and stuff. Yeah. Like that, okay, so. terrific. No, it was terrible. <laughs> I know. I, I, I absolutely love Dubai, but after a while, you just I had to leave. I hate Dubai. Yeah. It's. It's just there's no family there. Yeah. And it's for a single guy there. That was exactly was why I, dating horrific. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We don't need to say anything more. Yeah, exactly. So, but what were you doing then? I was running a boat, uh, running for a great guy uh, out of Dubai, one of the leading families there, and he treated me amazing. I had a great time there. From there, I went to Turkey. I lived in Turkey for about eight years. Uh, I built Motor Vessel Africa and then Motor Vessel Atomic, which is here at the show now. Where was that? Uh, well, it... We No, we built it out of Turkey. We won Best in Show in Monaco. Uh, we did, got a lot of awards, and uh, the boat still is in the med. Uh, the other boat, Atomic. For a Turkish built boat, it won Best in Show. Yeah, first time ever. Good lord. Yeah. Uh, the two boats I built were the most award winning Turkish boats ever built. Both boats? Both boats. Oh. <laughs> You've yeah. got the magic, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Are you very detail oriented or I, uh, are you just yeah. good at managing people? No, well, both, you know, detail oriented, but uh, actually I'm not. I just am really good at hiring people that are. Trying to keep up with me is like trying to keep up with the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> <laughs> good Lord. And so then you, from there you came back into? Yeah, oh. uh, from there I came back to America, uh, worked with several projects with Ocean, Ocean Co, uh, different things of that sort. And you worked on the Ocean Coast as well? Yes, correct. Which one? Uh, well, equanimity, the one that just got seized, the one they're selling. <laughs> oh, seized? Yeah. 
I didn't play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a wealth of knowledge. Oh, you? yeah, you know, I've worked for some crazy people, <laughs> let me tell you. I tell you what's interesting, when you work for the kind of level that you've worked for, yeah. it's, it is a world that most of us can never really get our headspace into. Yeah. I, I knew a guy, well, I met a guy, interviewed him, um, and he drove, um, he's a good um, fast boat captain, so uh -huh. yeah, yeah. flew out, I don't know if it was for your boats, um, they flew him out for four months of the summer to be the driver for the, the shake. Yeah. And um, he said he didn't drive it that much, but he, he got paid six figures yep. to be there for, it wasn't even four months, it was only two months to maybe drive a boat once or twice a week. Yeah. Yeah. I could not justify having a guy just waiting around just to do that. They wanted to have fun. Did your <laughs> boat with the one with the snow roof? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but however, snow rooms are actually pretty popular now. Uh, we, you gotta have it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a big thing. Eastern European people love it. It's kind of cool. You go into the sauna, then you jump into a snow room full of snow, run around, roll around, do whatever you do in there, and then go back in. So we also a boat that I built. We had something <laughs> called a cold blanche on that, and so you would get in a jacuzzi or the sauna, and then you'd jump into water that was just above freezing. So it wasn't quite frozen, but it would shock your body. It's amazing. You know, why not, right? It's good for you, right? Yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know AJ Anderson? I do. So I interviewed AJ a couple of months ago. Okay. And um, obviously he's very secretive about what he does. Yeah. Um, but off camera, just explaining some of the projects and some of the stuff that he actually get, gets into, it's like, wow you really get asked to do some strange, odd, odd things. Absolutely, you know? Did you have horses on the boat? Uh, my owner had a lot of horses. We did not have any on the boat. We did carry livestock, uh, but that was in a separate boat. You carried livestock on the boat? Not on our boat. We had another boat that you followed us. a separate us chase boat? That would, for... yes, correct. Because the boat you were on wasn't big enough. No, we were big enough. We just <laughs> didn't want stinky animals on the boat. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, good luck. Well, thank you. And how long has it been going, the MV thing? Motor Vessel Pacific Hope has been around around 27 years. What? Yep, 27 years. So, uh, Marine, this? Marine Reach has been around 27 years, yeah. So, Why have, wow. That's... I'm the only one in yachting that's ever jumped on board, so it's it's right. kind of being introduced Is into the like yachting. Doctor's, for, out of doctors? Without borders. Type. We uh, Exactly. Exactly, right. except the, the advantage of being on a ship is, like I said, if a hurricane comes or a natural disaster comes, they cannot get there until there's housing, until there's running water, until there's power, until there's an airport. Us, we pull in. We make our own water, we generate our own power, so we Doesn't can- Does it make more sense to do it on the boat? It does, yep, so. Uh, hmm, wow, it's-, it's uh, it don't. <laughs> it's, it's amazing the different worlds there are within this. Symbiot world is very small. It is. And then there are even smaller pockets within that. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, but being on a ship, we we are our own city. So when an island is destroyed and they have no power or anything else and they cannot help people, we can't. We can bring them on the ship. We've got two surgical rooms, we've got two dental chairs, and then we do optometry. So we do a lot of, um, you know, just general medical, wound care, things of that sort. After that, we can deliver uh, water to all the villages. Uh, we, can, we can provide food, we can provide shelter. Um, you go to heaven, that's for sure. Uh, thanks. But are you repenting for a previous life? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> thanks for having me.